Yo. So listen, we're gonna go straight into. We're gonna talk about Beyonce. So you know, we said nobody is safe. Nobody. Mm. The Beehive. They're rattling. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So um um a Nigerian is a Nigerian model. A Nigerian model came out and she came straight for Beyonce. And she <laughs> that's as, that's as fast as I can put it. Um, oh. she basically said that. Beyonce is culture appropriating the music of Nigeria and just Africa as a whole, mm-hmm. and that she's not given enough back. She's popularized, she's used their culture to popularize herself even further for what she was, and mm-hmm. she's not doing enough back. So that's why it's called culture appropriation. What do you think about that? I thought we were all from Africa. What's, what's going on? Hmm? Mm-hmm. How are we all originally from Africa? <laughs> anyway, um, we were all sticking together. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know how I've been about uh, cultural appropriation in general. Anyway, like I, I think it's it's only that that that, that terms only used used for like extreme extreme circumstances, and even then, I'm I'm not for sure. So, yeah. um, yeah. I, I don't I don't think that's the case in this in this scenario. I think uh, she's she's paid homage uh, a lot of times, um, you know. But obviously, being a big act, being a big actress like that, the spotlight big star. the spotlight is on her more because I feel like if if, uh, if being a big big singer like that, I, I believe if someone like you know I don't know Tinashe or one one of these young girls or whatever did the same thing, like there'd be no fuss about it, there'd be no noise about it. But because it's Beyonce. It seems to be that, you know, extra well, was, had to come out and bow down at the feet. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I didn't know what culture, I didn't know that was what culture appropriation was. I thought culture appropriation was what, what they were saying about Kim Kardashian, where she came out with the braids and she called them box braids. And then, you know, so she tried to take something off something that she saw black women and she tried to steal it and say, I done it. It was mine. So that's what I thought culture appropriation was. When you take something and you try to a fob it off as your own thing. Yeah. No, well, I didn't, I didn't think culture appropriation was you, you take something and then you praise the person it originated from. You say, Oh, you mm-hmm. know, Banj, Banj's Banj, uh, family did this for generations. So I started wearing this t-shirt in my music shoot, but it's mm-hmm. from Banj's family. Like they're the mm-hmm. ones who originated. Yeah. But now I'm saying that they still culture I mean, appropriation. That 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 that's how is it started out. But mm. then it's not. Uh, it's just using anything at any time. Yeah, it's not the case. And then even even like with the whole uh, culture thing, yeah, there, there are loads of different subcultures in Africa. Like we don't all have the same culture. All that's the same. It's, not Europe, it's like Europe. It's not like Europe. It's like, I mean, it's like Europe. Every yeah. country is different. Exactly. So it's, it's, not, it's not like you know, as a Nigerian, I can come out and speak on South African culture. Or, or Egyptian culture, or this or that, because it's it's, it's as different as completely different English and British culture. Yeah, I mean, like it's English and um, German culture, English and Italian oh. culture, and stuff like that. So, I I, I think a, a lot of people, um, yeah, you know, she's she's an easy target. In it, it's just it's an easy way to come out. Because she's never gonna come out and say anything, or yeah, I mean, yeah. What what was the lady say that she she needs to come and tour Africa and all that sort of stuff? This is why I disagree with. I think. First of all, people need to understand that, for me, yeah, I never look at the artist touring and think, oh, my God, he's touring, or she's touring because she loves the fans. That's why she's coming to our country. No. Uh, artists only tour where they're going to make the maximum money. It's mm. simple as that. They're going to do it where it's financially feasible, yeah? Mm. So when Drake comes to the UK, he's not going to go to Burnley. You know what I mean? He's not mm-hmm. going to, uh, mm. uh, what's it called, um, Hartwick, John. No respect. He's going to come to London. He's going to go to Birmingham, Manchester. Mm. And anybody from any of the outseas is going to, come to them not because he hates those cities because mm. that's where the money is you know yeah. what I'm saying simple as that they got the stadium they got the money yeah. so you're going to go to and you know, yeah he has a brand so he, he has to he can't be doing shows in some tiny little exactly so, so if you come into certain parts of Africa it, it's probably down to either a management team or mm. certain places not offering her enough money it's similar as that if I promise you if they offer Beyonce the maximum money I'm talking about every country because to tour yeah. Africa it's not just tour in Nigeria or Ghana, or you know, Ghana, Nigeria, and, and South Africa. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's, touring, it's touring Gambia, it's touring Zambia, it's, it's touring Zimbabwe, it's touring, you mean like every, Morocco, Egypt, mm-hmm. you know, we could go on and on, Guinea, blah, blah. But I'm mm-hmm. saying like, um, like to tour those countries, she needs the money, she needs the, um, the um, facilities, you know what I mean? Everything to be set up, right? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then people have to buy the tickets. If Beyonce mm-hmm. goes and tours, you know, Zimbabwe signing, and people don't want to buy the tickets, or oh, they're not a fan of her the mm. same way that they're a fan of her in Nigeria or England or and, and, you know, and there there are also yeah. other ways to to pay homage. Yeah, you know I mean, mm-hmm. uh, which for me is, is 
is it's just a sign of respect, but it's not nece- it's not necessary. And I don't think that you're stealing uh, uh, you're stealing culture because you didn't do it. But you could have uh, uh, African dancers. You could you could have you no, could, no, 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 no. I you think could, once uh, you choreographer, you, you could play. No, but you I think play. yeah, go on. Once once Beyonce puts the platform and says this person done it, yeah. they originated. I think that's paying homage because once mm. you get because you know whether we pretend or not, Beyonce is still a massive star. Yeah, you know what I mean, like, and if she says. This person, I have got this from this person or from this region. People, whether you know, people are going to highlight and look for that. You know I mean, maybe it's one yeah. percent of our fans, maybe it's more, maybe it's less. But there's still going to be a highlight on that, and then from there you can build what you're doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, so and, and, and she can't, she can't monetize the culture without you benefiting. Yeah, exactly. she's not going to all of a sudden start sell, selling or every. Uh, even if she wants to. Just the fact that, mm-hmm. that you are the authentic source should be able to provide better yeah. material, yeah? So only, only small-minded people will see somebody who's bigger, more famous than them, making making the thing they're doing mm-hmm. popular, and still be complaining like, oh, now, why, why, why is she doing yeah. it? Because no, 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 if, if they're smart, yeah, they're supposed yeah. to be able to mm-hmm. flip that to yeah. your benefit. Yeah. Now, if, 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 she was wearing, music, yeah, go if, she was, if she was wearing something specific or a certain product that's cultural, and then it was someone that made it, and that yeah. person reached out to her and she ignored them completely, then yeah. I'll be on their side like, yo, that's mm-hmm. cold. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't even... No, but, no, but just, no, but even if she ignores you, she doesn't owe you anything. Uh, no, I, no, but I'm saying, what about she stole something? Like, she used something without someone that didn't copyright and then just... Yeah, then, then you sue her, innit? You sue her, you get yeah. your money. No, I'm saying, no, no, but I'm saying, no, but then I'll be like, oh, I'm not saying they owe you anything, but you can still yeah. say it's cold. You know, regardless of anything else. I just don't look at this as cultural appropriation. Nothing, no, nothing in music is original, bro. It's all borrowed. There's all elements of it that you've taken or taken from somewhere else or you've added this. Like all the R&B guys now are all taken from Marvin Gaye, from this and that. They're all adding stuff, you know what I mean, from, from people gone. And they don't, they, don't, they, don't always, they don't always pay homage. They don't always say, oh, yeah. I got my style from here or I'm influenced from here, this, that, that. In fact, most musicians come out and say, nah. I'm original. <laughs> but at the same time, as well, is 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 possible to be influenced, yeah, without knowing you've been influenced, yeah. So subconsciously, yeah, I mean, you, you can pick up something. Now, if you do a video and it looks exactly like the other person's video, then yeah, that that's a bit much, and that, that looks a bit crazy because it's like you know, it lo- it looks like there's more uh, intent to to, to steal mm. copy. But generally, I I think. Let's let's say, let's say this Nigerian girl now, yeah. Let's say after she mm-hmm. said what she said, or even before she said what she said, if she went no, and, if she went and did a remix of the video, yeah, did it in her own style and her language, did it better than, than her, yeah. Mm-hmm. She probably gets mad buzz out of it rather than just here yeah, complaining and yeah, it starts a discussion piece for a day or two and then nobody forgets. And then you, mm-hmm. you as a musician are not any better than what you were before. I don't think she's a musician. I think she's a model. A model or whatever, yeah, mm. yeah. It gets you the buzz talking or whatever, but it's exactly. Even a musician can sit down somewhere and pray. So what? So <laughs> my, my dress code can't be exploited. Come on, come on. Is that, is that, is that you? Is that you wearing um, uh, Gucci or or uh, what's it called or uh, Louis Vuitton? Yeah, uh, mm. you know, um, red bottoms, and, and yeah, mm. you didn't give homage. You didn't give homage to uh, to Italy. You didn't talk about Italian culture and this and that, man. Please. Yeah, I, 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 I think it's very dangerous when we, when we. I just thought what, what I originally thought cultural appropriation was was what I said before. Yeah, I don't, that, I don't that, think that, it's that, this. And it's not even about it being Beyonce. It could be anybody, but it's just I just don't think it's this. No, but it's, that's what it started out. But then the mob now now realize that oh, this is mm. where we can stop people from using anything we want them to. That 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 was created by someone who looks like us. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you know I mean, like you, you have you have black American people, uh, black whatever British people who get upset about this, but they're not African. Yeah, you know I'm saying, but then they'll yeah. say, oh, it's a black, it's black water because a black person that made it. <laughs> you know I mean? British, no, that's not always the case. Yeah, you know I'm saying, yeah. it's like everything a white person said, a white person created is not it's not white in the culture. Like it, it mm-hmm. goes down in like subcultures, isn't it? Because because an Italian yeah. guy makes. Uh, uh, let's say, yeah, pizza. Pizza is all white culture. Yeah, you know I mean, that's Italian. It's very specific. Yeah, you know I mean, so very different. Yeah. Very different. But yeah, man. Obviously, let us know what you think in the comments. Is Beyonce a culture appropriating? Is nah. she? You know what I'm saying? Is she stealing? Queen B she should be cancelled. Queen B would never.
<laughs> should she be cancelled? <laughs> yeah, you already know it's us. Right. Like, share, and subscribe. We out. Peace.